welcome to Kick TV the second season. I'm your host Scott Clayson and this is the daily video journal of Schwann's USA Cup presented by Puma. We are here at the National Sports Center in Blaine, Minnesota, home to the largest youth soccer tournament in the Western Hemisphere. Now in the next 10 days we're going to have close to a thousand teams here from around the world. Currently I'm outside the Schwann Center, one of the main facilities here on the National Sports Center campus. This is where teams head for the final check-in before games start. Let's head inside and see what the process is like. Well, we're here in the Grand Hall at the Schwann Center. As you can see, teams are in the middle of checking in to get ready for their first games tomorrow morning. I had a chance to catch up with Shay Leahy, our tournament registrar, who runs this whole process and find out exactly how the team moves through and, and gets themselves ready to play. Now, Shay, tell me a little bit about the process that a, that a team goes through, a team leader goes through, from the time they walk in to the door until the time they walk out. Okay. First of all, the teams are actually getting um, squared away with their credentialing process, which means they're coming in with their, their player passes. We check their player passes against the birth dates on their roster and against the player passes. We provide a sticker to the pass. We also give wristbands that credential the players so that they're permitted to play into the tournament. Um, with that, we're answering final questions, making final payments, and then moving them on to pick up their gifts and out the door. What are the, the tournament gifts that every team receives this year? It's pretty exciting. Schwann's provides a bag, the really uh, stylish sling bag for all of the players, a coach's bag as well. This year it happens to be a canvas briefcase. In addition, each team receives a ball. Well, we're here with Natalie Day, who is a parent and team leader for a team from Alaska. But Natalie, tell me a little bit about your team. What age are they? We're U13 girls. And is this your first trip to Schwann's USA Cup? No, third year. It's a great tournament. Now, what is it like you know, trying to, to play soccer up in Alaska where you have a limited amount of, of uh, weather that, that's conducive to playing soccer? It's like playing anywhere else. Um, the kids wear Under Armour if it's cold out, and actually this year we got a full-size indoor turf field. It's the biggest in the Pacific Northwest. It has a 400-meter track around it, so we're able to play at 20 below zero. So That's a nice advantage coming into the, to the spring season then. Now, what do your players enjoy most about coming down here to, to Minnesota and playing in this tournament? Just the entire process, getting to meet kids from international teams. Um, obviously, it's a girls' team. Mall of America was a big hit. <laughs> Now, this is the special international team check-in area. Teams from, from outside the United States, they don't go over to the, to the lines in the main tables that you see over here. They check in with our special team relations coordinator, Colleen Borden, who's worked with most of these teams throughout the year to get them ready to come to Schwann's USA Cup. Hi, my name is Keith Nesbitt from uh, Northern Ireland, and my team is uh, Armagh City Football Club. The kids are looking forward to playing all their teams uh, from different countries. I'm looking forward to the experience of, of actually playing um, in that environment. For the weekend tournament, we're staying in the, in the dorms um, in, the, in the university, and, and the, the rest of the time they're being home hosted by um, first families in the Coon Rapids area. <laughs> Welcome to Kick TV. Oh, that was some serious lightning. <laughs> like that. All right, thank you. All right, we're here with Shay Leahy, the tournament registrar. I stuck my tongue out. Show for <laughs> you, showcasing over close to a thousand teams 